Do you want to transform your developer portals or your MuleSoft exchange into personalized digital experience for your various stakeholders? Well, MuleSoft AnyPoint Community Manager allows you to do just that. I'm Shashank, I'm a customer success architect here at MuleSoft. In this video series, I'm going to walk you through how one could install MuleSoft AnyPoint Community Manager on top of Salesforce organization. Let's get started. AnyPoint API Community Manager delivers capabilities on the AnyPoint platform that helps transform the developer portals into personalized digital experiences. This promotes organizations' API products and improves the collaboration between developers, partners, and employees. With the Community Manager, you can build portals in a matter of few minutes with pre-configured or out-of-the-box templates. You can customize the experience and personalize it based on the API consumer needs. You can also support the community members or enhance the collaboration with tools like developer forums, chats, blogs, and case management. And finally, you are able to measure the ecosystem via out-of-the-box real-time KPIs. Installing the AnyPoint Community Manager has become a lot more easier than what it was. We first start by confirming certain prerequisites. As part of the prerequisites, we will check if we have the required entitlement to use the AnyPoint Community Manager. We would also confirm if we have the required roles within our AnyPoint platform and the Salesforce. The AnyPoint Community Manager needs our Salesforce organization to have a custom subdomain configured to establish a secure connectivity with our MuleSoft platform. For this, we would be setting up the domain and enabling the communities. We would also set up Salesforce as the identity provider if we don't have any IDP set up within our MuleSoft platform. Once the prerequisites have been confirmed, we would be going ahead and installing the AnyPoint Community Manager with the package link that was provided to us. If you have your administrative role for your AnyPoint account, you would be following the guided setup to create the connected app and authenticate and authorize the ACM to connect your AnyPoint organization. Please note that this video would be following the guided setup. Once the connection to the AnyPoint has been successful, we would be going ahead and creating a new community and then be using the new diagnostics section of the ACM for creating certain standard profiles and users. We would then be activating the community and from there you would be customizing your community as per your needs. Let's get started. The installation of AnyPoint Community Manager requires certain parameters to be copied between the Salesforce and AnyPoint account and vice versa. To make things little easier, I will be copying the required parameters to a local notepad or an Excel sheet which I would then be referring it during the course of my installation of the ACM. You can also refer to the details within the AnyPoint installation documentation for, for which the link is being given below. Before we start with the installation of the AnyPoint Community Manager, let's go and check for certain prerequisites. Head to the browser window and log on to your AnyPoint account with your administrative credentials. Once the login is successful, open a new tab and open https anypoint.mulesoft.com slash accounts slash API slash profiles. Under this JSON metadata, verify that under the entitlement property, you have the API Community Manager and the enable is set to true. Head back to your AnyPoint account. Make a note of the organization ID, which you can fetch from the access management. This organization ID will be used later during the creation of the connected app within the Salesforce. For the purpose of this video, I signed up for a brand new developer trial account. Once you sign up, we need to set up the permissions and make sure that we have the required roles for the installation to be possible. Log into your brand new Salesforce account and search for users under setup. On this page, locate your username and click on edit. On this page, there are two things we need to make sure. First, we need to make sure that the role is not set to none, which is the default case. And we also need to make sure that the Salesforce CRM content user checkbox is set to true. 
Next, we need to make sure that we have the required custom domain setup, which is mandatory to have a secure connection between the ECM and the Salesforce. If the custom domain is not set up, please refer to the documentation. Go to your My Setup and search for My Domain to get to, do, to get to know the details of the custom domain. On this page, copy the My Domain name. Next, you also need to enable digital experiences for your Salesforce instance. This makes sure that certain features and permissions that is required for the installation of communities is available. To confirm, search for Digital Experiences and click on Settings. On this page, click on Enable Digital Experiences and give a domain name. You could check the availability of it if required. Once done, click Save. If you do not already have an AnyPoint IDP set up, we would be configuring Salesforce as the SAML IDP. In this video, I am assuming that you do not have an IDP set up within your AnyPoint. If you already do, there would be a very slight variation which you could get it from the documentation. To check if you have the IDP or not, head to your AnyPoint account and under Access Management, click on the Identity Providers. If this page is blank, then you don't have any IDP. Next, head to the Salesforce where we would be creating a new SAML identity provider. First, search for identity provider in the quick find. Click on enable identity provider and also create a new self sign certificate. Next, we would be creating a new connected app. For this, go to the app manager under quick find. Here, click on New Connected App. On this page, we need to give basic details like the connected app name and the email. Under the Web App Settings, give the start URL, which in our case is anypoint.mulesoft.com slash account slash login, followed by the organization ID of your MuleSoft. Enable SAML. Give a string as the entity ID. Make sure you copy this entity ID since this would be used within your AnyPoint account. Other configuration that you need to do is giving the ACS URL, enabling the single logout, giving the single logout URL, setting the logout binding to post, the subject type to username, and also set the issuer to the Salesforce domain, which is in a URL format. Once done, click Save. Now we need to grab certain SAML configuration which is required for your AnyPoint IDP setup. Go to the App Manager and for the connected app we just created, click on Manage. On this page, copy the parameters like IDP initiated login URL and the single logout endpoint. Along with the public key, which you can get it by clicking on the download metadata. Next, go to the AnyPoint account where we would be creating a new SAML IDP. Within our AnyPoint account, under Access Management, click on Identity Provider and click SAML 2.0 and give the values that we had saved from our Salesforce instance. Some of the parameters that you would be copying is the single sign-on URL, sign-off URL, the issuer, the public key, along with the audience parameter. Also make sure that on this page, the enable new SSO user checkbox is set to true. Once this configuration is done, we are good to go as part of prerequisite section. We can now install the AnyPoint community package which you would have received from your Salesforce representative. Once there is a successful provisioning of your AnyPoint Community Manager, you should be receiving an email with the ACM package URL. If you haven't, 
please contact your MuleSoft administrator. Open the package link in the browser window and select install for admins only and click install. This should open up a pop-up. Click on the checkbox and click on continue. The whole installation takes anywhere from two to four minutes. Sometimes you could also receive a message stating that it is taking too much time to install. Click done. This should take you back to the installed package screen within your Salesforce. Once the installation is successful, you should be receiving an email for the same. Alternatively, search for installed package within the quick find or refresh your present browser window. Once the installation is successful, you should be able to see the package details along with the version and the status of the installation. Now click on the app launcher and search and select the guided setup. If you do not have an administrative credentials for your AnyPoint, please follow the documentation for the manual setup. Or else, give the username and password for your AnyPoint account in the first tab. Once you give your credentials, click on connect. On clicking connect, this should create a connected app within your AnyPoint and this will also establish a secure connectivity to it as well. If you also go back to the diagnostic page, you should be able to confirm the same from its home page as well. As you can see on this page, the package version is 1.82 and the connectivity to the AnyPoint is successful. Now we would be creating a brand new community. There are a couple of different ways that you can create a community. Either you can go back to the ACM diagnostic page and click on create new community. This should open up a page with all the available templates for your ACM. Or you can go back to your Salesforce under setup, search for digital experiences in the quick find. From here, click on all sites and click new. They should again come back to the same templates page. Select API community and click on get started. Give the basic details like the community name and the URL and click create. After a few minutes, a new community should be created and the, and the confirmation message should pop up. After the new community has been created, you must create different user profiles for your community members and the guest so that they can control the access and the visibility to the API and content on your community page. For the purpose of this demo, I am assuming that these profiles would be a standard profiles. The standard profiles can be created from the diagnostics. If you want to have any customization, please follow configure profiles and permissions from the ACM installation documentation. Go back to your diagnostics and select the portal or the community you just created. On this page, select the user access tab. Here you would see two different kinds of users, guest users and member users. On the guest user, click fix all. We now need to do the same for the member user. Under member user, click fix all. There are few additional steps required to be configured before all the items under the member user shows as fixed. When a new user registers to your ACM, Salesforce needs to assign the user to a profile and an account. To assign, click on Assign against the Account Assigned radio button. From the Login Registration in the left navigation, go to the Registration page configuration and set the account. The account name would be your community name. Once the assignment has been successful, go back to your diagnostic page and click fix all. Once all the profiles and users has been created, now it's a time to activate and publish your community. Go back to your diagnostic page and for your community, go to the status tab and click go to the admin. On this page under status, click activate and also make a note of the URL. This URL would be used to access your community once we publish it. Go back to your diagnostic page under status, go to Builder. On this Builder page, click on Publish. Once this publish is successful, open a browser window and go to the URL 
that you had copied earlier. This should open up your community. Now go back to your Salesforce and from the app launcher, select the ACM administration. On this page, choose your community from the dropdown. As you can see on this page, all your AnyPoint APIs are now being shown here. If you want to have any API to show up in your community, just click on Add to Community. The possibilities are endless. I would suggest to get in touch with your CSM to find out about the best practice and how you can customize the community for your business. In this video, I was able to give you a quick walkthrough of how one could install AnyPoint Community Manager on top of Salesforce organization. In my next video, I'm going to walk you through how one could start customizing these portals for the needs of the various stakeholders. Thank you for watching Friends of Mac series. Till next time, goodbye.